Good evening from NYHS Kids. Uh, my name is uh, Saudin. In this lesson, uh, we are going to learn removing the defender. This is a very advanced study. So you really need to be focused. Uh, you need a quiet place and we are going to learn how to calculate together, right? I'm going to lead you through the calculation without moving the pieces. So let's see this position. First, I'm going to show you what the removing the defender is. You had those lessons before in the intermediate lessons. Now, this one is the advanced one. Look here, we have a rook attacking the rook, right? But the bishop is protecting the rook. That means the bishop is the, the defender. So if you take a rook takes g6, pawn has to take, and then we take rook e4, we win the piece. All right, so let's go to the next one. And uh, now here, it's your turn. It is white to move. Try to find the move. Always pay attention to, to the pieces attacking the king. Right now we have a bishop. We have a rook, queen, and those other pieces cannot join us at this moment. So we have an attack on the knight with the bishop and the queen, but the bishop is protecting, queen is protecting. If we remove the bishop, if we play rook e6, queen has to take, then bishop takes on d5 and it's a pin, we are winning the queen. So let's see that. Rook takes on e6. Bishop takes. And we win the queen. Let's go to the next one. Yeah, this position we had before in the intermediate level. We have this attack on h7. Trying. And the queen is attacking. Now, knight is protecting the pawn, and we have a rook here that can help us. So that means if you play rook f8, queen takes on f8, and queen h7 checkmate, or rook takes queen h7 checkmate. Check, and we take on h7. Let's go to the next one. Okay, here we have to calculate a little bit together. Hmm. We have we 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 have this open file, very important. Rook on open files are fantastic for the attack. We have a bishop attacking on h7, but then we have a knight protecting the h7. A rook is attacking the knight, so. Clearly, this is going to be the first move, but let's calculate. Rook takes f6, pawn takes. Then we open the king with bishop h7. Right, king has to go to a g7. Right. And, uh, and then we play a move like queen h5. Right? We should not be afraid of this move like queen to a1. Nothing happens. We just move the, the queen to e2, and then rook is attacking the queen. Right. If uh, any other move happens, we are threatening queen a6 check. Right. So basically, we are threatening queen a6, and when the king goes to h8, we take queen a6 checkmate. So if the rook goes to h8, we play queen h6 checkmate. So let's see this one more time. Rook f6, pawn takes, bishop h7. So the king is already open. And after king g7, we play queen to h5 with the idea queen h6, queen f6. All right, black cannot defend. So let's, let's take it. We'll take on h7 and play queen h5. There's no defense. 
there's no defense. We play this move and checkmate. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, here we clearly have this lineup here with the queen and, and the rook attacking. Bishop is protecting the knight. So if you remove the, the bishop, then we win the knight. So this one is not, not hard, right? Let's see the next one. Okay. We are taking the knight on h3, but bishop is protecting. So if you play this move, bishop c8, there's no move. There's no move for black because we are threatening to take on e6 and take the knight. And if bishop takes, we just play rook c8 check, and then we take here and we win the game. Okay, the bishop c8, yeah, not an easy move, right? So let's see here what's going on. Okay, first we have to see what, what the attack is. Uh, we, we have this attack here. Bishop is attacking, queen is attacking the knight. But the bishop is protecting the knight. Now all rook is attacking the bishop, so that's clearly the combination. So if you take rook g2, removing the defender, king takes on g2, and then we can take queen e4. We want to trade the queens because um, uh, when it's going to be easier to win. And then queen takes, bishop takes, and we take on b1, and we stay with a piece up. So let's see this. We take... And then we take on e4, and you are knight up. Let's see the next one. Okay, this one should be easy, right? Uh, queen is attacking the queen, but the knight protects the queen. So by removing the knight, uh, white is losing the piece. Okay, and then we take. Okay, here we have this attack. Queen is attacking the queen, but the knight protects the queen. Right, so the black is not going to take with the rook, so you take the, the knight on d6. So what we can do, we just remove the knight. And if the rook takes, then we take queen b8. Now, when we take rook d6, queen a, a6, we take rook d7, check. That means that move in between swish and sook. And king goes to e8, we take on a6, and uh, we ended up uh, in a better position, so with a piece up. Let's see this. We take, we take here. Yeah, king e8, we would just take. So it doesn't matter, we just take and we are winning. Okay. Here, king on f4, clearly not in a pleasant place, right? So we have this, the, I, I assume the last move that black played was bishop d6 to block the check, right? We see we, we have this attack, but knight is protecting the bishop, but then we have this attack on the knight. So let's calculate if uh, if a rook takes uh, on e4, then uh, we'll calculate two lines. Uh, if queen takes on e4, we take queen d6, right? So we got two pieces for a rook, king in the center, we would end up with a piece up and strong attack. What happens if rook takes e4 and king takes uh, e4? Then in that case, we could, uh, we could play two different moves that, that would win the game. First one is um, we could play here um, if you want. Let's say queen c6 check, and if the king goes to e3, then uh, we have a rook h3. We could play like that if if, if you find that interesting. Um, but there's another win. So so basically we play. Rook e4, king takes e4. We could also play queen d6, take the bishop. And if the queen takes on h1, then we have a skewer. Queen d5, king f4, and we take on h1. 
So that would be the calculation. So we take on E4 and we take on D6, right? Okay, let's go to the next one. We have two knights here. Um, queen is attacking the knight on E4. So basically, if you remove this piece, if you take knight G2, then we take on E4, and that's it. Here, uh, we have a checkmating pattern, smother mate, king is on H1. And um, of course, if he takes queen F5, knight F2 would be checkmate. I'm sure you can see those moves by now very easily because you're on advanced level. So, so those should be quite easy for you. Okay, here um, we have a two rooks. Let's just calculate a little bit. This is our target here, right? Um, because it's on the same uh, diagonal with the king and, and the rook. So if you take on c7, try and then play bishop to d5, we're winning the rook. So what do we have here? Here we have a checkmate. Um, we want to play queen of a checkmate, but the knight, knight is defending there. So basically if you take on g6, we are removing the defender, and, uh, and then the next move is checkmate. Queen f8. Look, um, I, I, I want to just explain you those positions. I don't want to spend too much time on it, uh, because uh, you can do those positions on your own. I just want to explain you so that you see the, the structure of, of the positions and uh, that you can do it on your own because um, they are not easy, and if you if you try to do them on your own, you may you may get uh, a little bit, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, some kids they give up. Okay, let's see this one. So what do we have here? Well, let's analyze every every piece. We clearly have this knight on f three that's giving us. Uh, a mating pattern that we already studied with the knight on f3. Then we have this those rooks lined up, attacking on the g file, right? And we have a queen here that can help us. So if you look at the, the wide position, look, um, um, only rook is defending here, and maybe knight is defending, right? But uh, look at this power that black has. So. Let's calculate. Let's say we take rook g2, right? We are removing the defender, right? Because we we want to take on a, h3. So rook g2, rook takes on g2 and queen h3, and why doesn't have a move? Because after rook h2, you take uh, queen h2. You take. And then, uh, and then any move, right? You, you win. Okay, so, okay, um, here we have uh, knight is attacking the knight on d2, bishop is protecting, so basically we just remove the defender. And the outcome is, look, we sacrifice the rook for two pieces, but uh, two pieces are stronger, and uh, black is winning the game here, yeah, because those two pieces uh, have more power than the rook. Um, we are taking the rook on e6 and the knight is protecting. Just don't make a mistake like this. This would be a bad one, right? Because if you take bishop d4, queen takes d4, you take queen e6 and you get checkmated on g7. Right? So that's not a good idea. So we have to uh, remove the defender, but we're going to do this move, right? So the, the knight has to move and then we take on e6. So that's that's the idea. This is from the real game, this position. And um, the king is in the center of the board, so we're gonna calculate here together. Uh, first, try to find the move, and if you um, have some ideas, how about this? I'm gonna give you the move, and then you calculate. The, the move is uh, bishop c5, 
you sacrifice the queen. So try to calculate from that. Um, I'm wondering what, what can you see there? Um, there is a checkmate in that position. Okay, should be able to find a checkmate by now. So look, we play bishop c5, queen takes f3, rook goes to e1, check, bishop goes to e7 to block. Rook takes e7, king f8, rook d8, checkmate. So let's see this one more time. Check. You take here and rook d8, checkmate. Okay, let's see the next one. Here we have the attack on the bishop. Two pieces are protecting. First we remove one. Now you find the move to remove the second one. That's this move, right? And uh, now we remove the, the defender and we capture the piece for free. Here it's clearly we are attacking the knight. It's protected by the bishop. So think about how to remove this, this bishop from the board. Now, of course, we are thinking about rook e2, king e2. Can you find the, the next move? Okay, hopefully you found rook e8 check, and then you take on d3. Here, um, I, I assume the, the last move was rook b1. Rook is attacking the, the queen, but um, I think white blundered the combination here. So try to find a move, um, and then we'll calculate together. Okay, now calculate knight e2. Okay, let's do it together. Knight takes e2. If um, king takes, then we will just take queen c3. If queen, if knight takes, then we take queen b1. All right, so let's see now. Knight takes e2, rook takes on b4, our queen. And then we have this move, bishop c3. So we are pinning the queen and, uh, and after King e2, we take bishop d2, right? And that's how we win the game. We are taking the rook and we are taking also the bishop here. So knight e2 is correct move. I think uh, white blundered this move. Now let's see the next one. Okay, here. Um, tricky position i'm going to explain you and then you try to find on your own we are we're taking the queen yeah with queen takes the queen knight protects the queen so we need to remove the knight so the first move is knight f3 right knight cannot capture because queen takes the queen if rook takes or pawn takes, then we play bishop d4 check. And uh, and then when pawn takes, uh, we take the queen. But the, the best combination is this, knight f3, check, king goes to h1. And then we come back and take knight d4. So the knight from d4 is protecting our queen on c6. And we won the piece. this small and take the queen okay here um, we have a tremendous attack look at this power here uh, our queen is attacked but uh, we lo look at this pawn structure right so we're attacking this pawn structure look at this we are targeting the pawns with a knight with a queen uh, rook is attacking here so we need to destroy this pawn structure and just go for a checkmate. So the rook is uh, rook goes to f2, and then we take queen g3 and take on f2. Here, uh, 
here we want to checkmate the king king is already in a checkmating pattern right we have this uh, rook and queen attacking knight is protecting on h7 without knight on g5 queen h7 is checkmate so it's clear we take the knight remove the, the defender and then take on h7 checkmate let's see the next one yeah this one is very nice um, now we need all the pieces here um, look this knight of course is very important we have a queen in attack we have a rook in attack and all of those other pieces like bishop in attack like controlling the diagonal the black king in in big trouble but black king set up the fortress and uh, you know probably hoped for survival but uh, we have a move that that wins basically it's checkmate in two moves so try to pay, find a checkmate in two you are advanced level i can't give you more time you take g7 and i take six okay 26. again here the king in trouble look bishop is controlling the king pawn is controlling the king king cannot escape you just need to check well, if you play bishop b5 pawn moves to c6 so what do we do we remove the defender and then bishop b5 checkmate okay let's go to the next one uh, this one is very good nice one um of course we want to we want to attack the king we have those two bishops here right? and we would love to play bishop b5 right so if we play bishop b5 we are threatening queen h2 but then pawn goes to f4 and blocks them now, sure, we could take bishop f4, bishop f4, queen f4, but that's not checkmate. Um, so, what do we do here? First, we play bishop f3, check. He has to take, and now bishop e5, and there's no defense, right? We take, um, that's it, checkmate. So, that that this is a, an important um, uh, trick to remember. First you take on f3 and then bishop b5. Okay. Okay, this one, this one, uh, um, look, the white king is surrounded with the uh, black piece, right? It's nearly a checkmate there, not, but this knight is still defending the, the king. So we remove the knight and, and then uh, after bishop f3, you cannot stop the checkmate, right? Rook h1 checkmate so here we remove the knight um, here here we have a mating pattern again now look it's clear that this knight on f5 is very very important because uh because that's what going to create a checkmate here and then we have this knight on h5 we have the rook that can remove the knight. Um, so the king, um, king is in a in a bad situ situation here, right? So, but we need to calculate here. <clears throat> so, if you want to attack the king, I, I assume you are thinking about rook d7, right? Rook takes d7, right? Or, um, or I don't know if you are thinking about some other moves here. Uh, but rook d7 is is a kind of move that you probably can find during the game, right? Queen takes, and then you take knight of six, check. Pawn has to take. So the king is completely opened, right? Now the knight is on f5. You know, we have we have a great chance for a checkmate, but we don't need a bishop there. We need a queen on h6 because we want to go with a queen to g7. So instead of playing bishop h6, we would play bishop c5 open the open the diagonal of the queen and and the check mate cannot be stopped because the next move we take on h6 and queen g7 checkmate so we take we take on f6 bishop c5 and then you take on h6 and the move queen g7 cannot be stopped checkmate
right? This is very important to remember such a positions, you know, those, those knights, right? Look at the knights, how, how dangerous they are when they are on fifth rank. Okay, um, let's see what the defender is, is here. The rook, bishop on g7. We have this lineup here. Of course, we have a knight on uh, e4 that can join the attack and queen, right? So what do we do here? We, we remove the, the bishop on g7. So we play rook h8, bishop has to take, we take rook h8, king has to take, queen h6 check. King has to go to g8 and knight is six checkmate, right? So this is something you should see right away, right in a second. Okay, let's see this. Um, now we have a rook on g8. Don't forget about this piece. This is very important, right? because it's the, the, the pawn is pinned. Uh, we have a knight on e5, that's an attacking piece. Don't forget about the bishop. In this case, the bishop is also important for the attack, right? Although it's on the other side, but you'll see it's important. Now the knight is protecting the king. So let's calculate what happens if you take queen d4. Right, we remove the defender. Bishop takes on d4, knight of three check. King has to go to f1, bishop e5. And uh, checkmate in two moves because queen c4, bishop c4, checkmate. Right, king f1, bishop e5, right? <clears throat> the king in checkmate in position. Okay, let's see the next one. Okay, here uh, we have those two knights. We. Uh, yeah, we, we, we are targeting this knight, so we can we can win the knight here. And um, by playing knight c5, we are really removing the, the queen, because the queen cannot protect the pawn in f5. So knight c5, let's say bishop c5, knight c5, queen moves uh, to d6, queen f5 check, king goes to b8, and you take on h7. That could be one line, or uh, maybe... Maybe black is not going to take it. Right? Okay, queen d6, yeah. And now we just take because the pawn is not protected now, and, and then we take on h7. Okay, so let's see this one. Okay, <clears throat> here, pay attention to, to the mating pattern that, that we studied. Uh, we studied those mating patterns in intermediate two uh, or advanced levels. Now, we clearly have this attack. Rook goes to g7 and bishop is here. So we know this mating panther. When rook takes on g7, king will have to go into this cover attacked, right? So if king goes to h8, we will play rook d7 or rook g6, right? Uh, but the knight is here. So we take the knight, right? Now, if the bishop takes the bishop, then queen h7 is checkmate. So we take, and then we go into that pattern, right? We already know this pattern. And here, uh, here, yeah, rook d7 winning the queen. If you play rook g6, pawn can go to e5, right? You're still winning, but this is much easier, right? Rook d7. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, king is here in the mating position, right? Look at this knight is blocking the king, cannot move to f6, right? Now we have uh, we have the bishop protecting the pawn. Look, there's this attack. We would play rook e5 and put the king into the checkmate, right? After rook e5, king g4, f3, but there is a bishop. So first we remove the bishop. So let's calculate rook d4. Uh, doesn't matter how black captures could be rook rook pawn or this pawn and uh, then we take rook e5 check king has to take on g4 and then h3 or f3 uh, checkmate right so we take we take on e5 and then f3 or h3 checkmate um, Okay, here we have this two rooks. 
very strong attack on on the g file don't forget the bishop the bishop is very important for the for the combination here um, and and of course we have a queen now it looks like queen is pinned and it looks like white is losing right but uh we have we have a move here and that's queen h6 i want you to calculate that queen goes to h6 of course king cannot take because rook h4 is checkmate but what happens after pawn takes on h6 rook g7 is a logical move right king has to go to h8 and now really fantastic move tricky move Uh, okay. Yeah, I mean this this is a hard move to find Bishop G eight. Bishop goes to G eight and you are threatening rook h seven checkmate. If rook takes on G eight, you take rook g eight, king h seven and rook g seven checkmate. So let's see this one more time. We play check and then uh, bishop g eight. Now you are threatening rook h seven checkmate. Pay attention how black cannot do anything on this queen side. And then, of course, here we just take and, and rook g7 checkmate. Okay, let's see the last one. Here you have a pattern, right? Uh, see the black set up the pattern with a pawn on h4, knight on f5, rook on h8. And there is this bishop that is blocking the king to go to g1. So it's a pattern. Right. We had this pattern also before in, in uh, one of the mating patterns lessons. So what do we do? We would love to play 9g3. That's, that's the move, right? Because if the pawn takes, we would take with a check and that's basically checkmate, right? But there's this knight on e4 because if you play 9g3, the knight is going to take on, on g3. We take a, h takes g3 and then uh, queen can take or pawn can go to h3. So that's not going to work. So we take. Right, and then, and then we play knight g three, and after this move, game is finished. Right? Okay, kids. Hey, we did it. Removing the, the defender. Um, look, I didn't want to spend too much time on that because uh, I just wanted to explain you the positions, and uh, now do it again on your own. You can print this, try to write down the moves, or you can. Uh, go and do on leeches right on the computer bye bye see you